Good morning. Um, I don't have much time left. So, um, this is important stuff. Um, you know, this naturally is going to go back to my childhood, right? And, um, I could never figure out why it is there's people around you that are always trying to control what it is you experience. Now, for me, this is just me. Um, that's an insult to my intelligence. And it is an enormous insult to higher intelligence. Uh, particularly when you have creativity and you're running on so much energy. And you already sort of know that you got so much energy and you got so much creativity and you're running on higher intelligence. You're naturally not going to do anything that's going to harm what it is you represent because you're you're running on higher intelligence, okay? So at some point, I realized that you must have learned this along the way, called evolution, right? So I never look towards people that are outside of me, if you will, as something that's trying to control me, unless you're trying to impart some knowledge that is a benefit to us. That's what love and service to others is. When you are in love and service to others, automatically good things happen. That's when you begin to realize the full potential of the human race. Okay? Because at the end of the day, do you not want to thrive? Imagine you have beings who are highly creative and highly intelligent, who love who they are. And when they love who they are, they're sharing that energy with everybody else. We measure that across the spectrum, if you will, mapping the terrain, which results in the potential. And we can actually quantify that, okay, along the entire terrain of consciousness and a planet. Did you know that? That's called potential. That's actually called a probability function. When you have beings on the planet, as Kim Go Goon pointed out, wearing pin hats, kings and queens, okay, having these rulers, okay, it's an insult, okay, because it's like saying, there's your journey and there's my journey, okay, your journey is not my journey, so just because you live a particular way and you want to be a king, I don't want to have anything to do with you, because you're a control freak, you want to have all this power, you want to have all this control, you want to have all this material stuff. Where do you think that comes from? Raping planets. Pillaging and plundering other groups. Okay? Where do you expect that to end up on the evolutionary food chain of higher intelligence? That's really what we're talking about here. That's why this is a classroom. This is lower creation. Because imagine the evolution of intelligence that is creative that learns through itself by the relationships that it has with others what's possible in 20 trillion years of evolution. How old is the cosmos? Okay? Asking questions when you're always sort of in potential mode. What's possible? How much can we, how can we bring forth the kinds of things that represent what creativity is? Infinite imagination that is possible for us to experience. When you have that many people that come together like that to self-rule because they have so much energy, they're not going to do anything to drain anybody else's energy because they've already got all the energy they need. And that's the point. That's a high-speed neurotransmitter. That's why when I was a child, I knew to stay in my heart. That's your protection. That keeps your battery full. Love and service to others keeps your battery full, and now you can zoom through the cosmos and experience all of it and all that light. That's what love is. That's what light is. That's what we are. That's why we're here. That's why the Indians are the teachers, the peacekeepers, and the healers here. We're the guardians of the classroom. So, we got a lot of folks in here now, which is Life Force, Kim Go Goon, I forget the other guy's name that have already established a new way to bring about a new civilization. 
Now the tribes and the clans naturally knew this was coming. It's what's known as the fifth world. The fourth world already ended in 2013. Okay? We're heading through some higher vibrational fields. And what that means, just as Patty mentioned to me the last week, I guess it was, you start moving through some higher vibrational fields. If you can't handle the DNA upgrades and be able to handle the higher vibrational fields as we move around the ecliptic right in the Milky Way galaxy. So, <clears throat> this means we're done with 3D, okay? And we're not going to miss it, are we? Nope. That's called ascension. That's called higher in form, higher in evolutionary consciousness. Because now the potential you begin to realize is infinite. Right? That's where we're headed. And there are enough beings that are here now that are putting it together. That's the good news. Thank you, Kim Gogun. I love you all for everything that you're doing. Thank you all for being here. I love you all.